today I'm taking you to an abandoned village in the mountains. I had already tried you to take you a few months ago, but then it started raining and today it's a beautiful day. So I thought, why not go and show you. There's about six houses in this village and apparently this village was super poor uh, there's no roads that gets here there's only a path and it's about 14 minutes from the main village and uh, since the 20s 30s people started to leave until there was nobody left and then in the 60s um, or 70s a group of hippies uh, tried to live in here for a little while I don't know how long it lasted but they left a few things and there's some drawings around and some paintings and such houses This is one of the most well-kept houses and I think somebody lived here for a little while and renovated it and there's a little bedroom here as well. So this is what I'm currently working with. It's pretty much done really. I just need to add a little bit of length. But as you can see, it's not very appropriate for winter, but that's okay. I hope to be using it next year or I can always be, you know, use it as a layer for winter. But anyway, let's finish this up. in terms of length for the top so I think I'm gonna go upstairs and try it but before I show you the final result I gotta pay my bills so here's a quick word from the sponsor of today thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people the classes are on topics such as illustration design photography video and lifestyle the class Indoor Gardening, Grow Houseplants, Veggies and Herbs by Ekta Chaudhary is a great introduction to indoor gardening. As winter is approaching, my number one priority is to not let all my beautiful houseplants die, something I haven't been very successful at last year. Ekta gave so many useful tips on growing ornamental plants, but also on growing tomatoes, herbs and microgreens. I particularly enjoyed the plant propagation part, since my main goal for this house is to have it as jungle-like as possible. Skillshare is always launching new classes for every skill level and the platform has no ads so you can just focus on your learning. 
The classes are usually less than one hour long and are organized in short segments, so you can stop and pick it up at any moment. So whether you want to learn a new skill, improve existing ones or simply get creative, you can join by clicking the link in the description. The first thousand subscribers to click the link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Look at this! I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think I can still use it in winter if you play with a big cardigan. But um, for those of you that are wondering, I did use a pattern uh, but I did change it a little bit but I will leave that one in the description bar it's an Etsy pattern and yeah I think it turned out very well but I think that's it for the crochet content of this video we gotta go back to more manly tasks manly tasks right now I don't wanna end up the same aim as other poets neurotic and halfway insane although we see the world in the same way Emotional extremes, the panic of the everyday. I don't want your minimum way. Ages, I need these eyes alone to foster my self righteous way. Age. Another coffee shop, coffee. Name an unseen being. Hello, everyone. Today I'm really high up in the house and it's super windy. I hope that you can hear me But today's job is to fill in this big gap Over here that goes all the way down there and I need to remove any crumbly material And then I need to fill it in with some Malta. I can't remember the English name right now It's you know this thing over here that you put on bricks and stuff to make houses Anyway, I've never done this. I am hope it's gonna work out. I think I'm done it goes all the way up there and I mean not the neatest uh, job you've ever seen but I think it will do I hope it's gonna hold and dry well and then it's not gonna rain tonight but yeah let's pack it up I'm gonna start painting the house from this side. This is why this structure is here. So I need to remove this thing today. By the way, I decided for the color of the house and it's gonna be, drum roll, white. Yes, I know, how original. It's just easy and I know it's gonna look okay and I can do the trims of different colors. So yes, I decided to go with that. And I'm gonna use um, this thing. I decided to go with this Grassello di Calce, which I think translates to lime putty. You can actually get pigments for this kind of paint but I decided to just go white and I chose to go with lime because it's supposed to be very breathable and uh, non-toxic and it's an old way to paint houses before all of these chemical paints came through. 
Some people say that it's not as durable as traditional paint, but I decided to go for this and also it's a lot, a lot cheaper than normal paint. So hopefully it's gonna work out and I'm gonna work on that facade first. Hopefully it looks okay. And then if it does, I will do the rest this spring because as you can see, it's cold. It's already October, the leaves are falling and I don't wanna be outside painting the exterior of the house uh, in winter. So yeah, if you have painted with lime, do let me know what your technique is or if you have any tips because I did find some stuff online but I'm not quite sure. Some people say that you should put milk in it. Um, some people say you can just put some linseed oil to act as a, as a, uh, as like a connector to link things. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm willing to do a few tries but if you have worked with lime putty, uh, do let me know and uh, I'm all yours. Okay, before I finish this video, I wanted to tell you two things that are important to me, yes, and to you. Uh, the first one is thank you so, so, so much for all the nice comments that you wrote on the last video where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing and am I even interesting to anybody? And yeah, it really, really helped. And the second thing, that is more important to me anyway and to this one is Svetlan officially got a house and this is most likely the last video that he's gonna be featured in so thank you so much for being part of this channel for this long and before you start writing in the comments you're gonna break his heart how can you leave him how can you give him away you're heartless because there have been a lot of the comments Please, please, please hear me out, please. Before, at least give me a little bit of time before you write those comments. I just wanna to explain to you a little bit what fostering is about and why it is important and why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm giving dogs away. Uh, just please hear me out because those comments really hurt and I know I can't control what people write um, and I am putting myself online so it's normal that I'm gonna receive criticism but at least hear what I have to say on the topic and then you can have your own opinion everybody is entitled to their own opinion and that's that and I know second disclaimer I know I don't need to apologize or justify myself to anybody but I I really want people to understand why fostering is important my intention with fostering dogs is always to give them away meaning to find a new home for them I've done this with two other dogs be, uh, before uh, Svetlan and Svetlan has been the one that stayed with me for longer because he's a big dog and another thing that I wanted to say is he's not very old he's actually four to five years old a lot of people were concerned that because he was an older dog he wouldn't have a lot of time to leave and so why put him through this you know finding a new home he's only four and he's lovable as you have seen him with me with every single person like i'm not joking i'm not just saying this to make myself look better he's just a very lovable dog and anytime a friend comes by he's just exactly like this as you see him with me he's just very lovable um, but anyway to go back to the fostering why fostering is important why can just dogs go from kennel to adoption well there's a few reasons First of all, kennels are full, like full, full, full. There are kennels in Italy that have more than 5,000 dogs and a lot of those kennels are not kept nicely, meaning they receive subsidiaries from the state uh, to give, you know, to keep the dogs properly. But actually what they do, they just fill those cages with dogs. They don't treat them well. Maybe they don't give, in, give them to uh, eat. They don't clean the cages. They just pocket the money and then run with it basically so there's a lot of kennels with that are full of dogs that are not in very good condition and they're eventually gonna die and there's a lot of volunteers that try to take those dogs out and need temporary accommodation for them until they can find another well a home or maybe a better kennel to keep them in this is one of the reasons another reason is a lot of those dogs have been traumatized or have some kind of behavioral issues they might be very anxious they might uh, not know how to pee and poop outside they might not be used to stay in the house they not, might not be used to stay in a fenced area so they need to learn those things before they can uh, be adopted because let's face it a lot of people don't want to go through the hassle of training a dog they just want a good dog so they can just you know fit in the family and then 
go with it. A lot of people are not willing to take the time and effort to retrain a dog and it's easier to um, have a dog adopted if it's already trained. So this fostering period can also help uh, with behavioral tr problems like this one. Svetlan didn't have any issues really. I only taught him how to sit and to uh, a few commands to give the paw and things like that. But there are other dogs that really benefit from fostering so that they can be um, reintroduced to or introduced for the first time to live in house, live with people, maybe live with kids or live with cats, whatever it is. So fostering is important for that as well. And lastly, the other uh, point that I think it's important is that fostering makes the dog more likely to find adoption even if it doesn't have any behavioral problems many of those dogs at least in Italy are in the south of Italy where adoptions rates might not be as high and there are just a lot of dogs that are stray dogs wait still recording um, so they, this association this association in particular tries to uh, bring the dogs up north where it's more likely that they're gonna be uh, adopted. So for example, Svetlan came from Puglia, which is a southern region. So now he found an adoption in Veneto because it's more likely that they're gonna find an adoption up here. So uh, bringing them in a foster home in a more adoptable area, it's also enhancing the chances of them getting adopted because people wouldn't travel to Puglia or Calabria to see him. They're just looking for a dog around here when they are in the more adoptable areas then people can come and visit them more easily and you know the foster people can take really good pictures of them instead of having pictures of them in a cage like scratching the fence and you know when they're not very well i could stay here and talk about a lot of other factors of why fostering is important but i think i already bored you out most people already logged out of this video but i just wanted to explain why fostering is important and why you shouldn't judge people that foster and then decide to give the dog away uh, keeping the dog was never the goal the goal was always to find a new home and you can not judge people for not wanting to keep a dog or not or not being in the position to keep a dog because a person that fosters loves dogs like it's not somebody that just does it for the fun a person that fosters is fosters because they love dogs there's nothing to gain from it other than knowing that a dog is going to go to a good house and that you probably save their life or find a better living solution for them and it's always heartbreaking when they leave and i know it's i'm gonna be heartbroken with um Svetlan leaves but I know that he's going to such a great home the person he's going to is just such a big dog lover I know it we already met him several times and he's going through hoop holes through hoop holes to be able to adopt him so I know he's gonna go to a great family and he's gonna be happy and of course it's gonna take a few days of adjusting but he'll be fine I'll be the one missing him like the other dogs that have been adopted this is just to say never never pressure anybody to keep a dog especially if they're fostering because believe me they've probably already thought about a million times whether they can keep this dog or like wh whether they can make it work like <laughs> they, they already went through all of this so you putting the knife on the wound doesn't help anybody and in general just pressuring people to keep dogs is never never a good idea and uh, there was one comment of a lady and i know she meant well and I hope you don't take this personally, but she said, um, me in this position, I kept my dog and now she's with me. She's been with me 12 years. And I mean, this is great if you're in the position to do it. That's fantastic. Uh, but you don't know the position of people you're talking to. You don't know the behind the scenes. You don't know what's going on. Uh, so you should never assume that people can act the same way that you have acted uh, in that specific situation and i wouldn't want you to have anybody telling you what you should do because they have done it um anyway i know this was super long i hope i've been eloquent and if anybody ever comments again on uh those things because there are probably gonna be other dogs in the future of uh, after svetlan that i foster uh if anybody ever raises concern about the dog and i'm hurting them by letting them go uh i can refer to this video sorry to this video and hopefully uh explain myself without having to do it in the comments anyhow if you've read if you've watched until now i thank you a lot again i know i don't need to explain myself and i've already done it a few times in several videos but i was never as full-on as 
this video. So I hope this can put a few people heart at peace that I love dogs. I have dogs best interest at heart and you shouldn't judge people because they decide not to commit having a dog in the long term because you don't know what's going on in their life basically. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I will give you a last goodbye of Svetlan. I hope you can all wish him a good life. I'm already getting emotional just thinking about him leaving but I know he's gonna get, have a great life so yes. Bye! Bye bye everyone. It was lovely to meet you. Bye! Take a picture, not a video.